Hello everyone, my name is JerryBR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So this time we are... where are we going? We have just defeated the last member of Team Star. And now we have to go defeat their leader who is somewhere... Oh that's right, they're at the school in the dark. the lighthouse but right now we're going to the school hopefully it's after dark I guess if it's not then we'll go and do the lab that's dark that's better all right this I think it's technically after dark Oh, Clive. A man. Tell me what's happening. Is it time? Sup, Jagerbra. Uh, Clive. Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha. <gasps> this game is full of twists. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy... You were supposed to be a boy? You knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Now that is impressive. That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using her, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it's very clever. So, Master Yerba, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. So wait, so no one else actually knew you? Why are you so old? No. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I'll finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. But... That makes no sense! I can't even think of a little bit how that would make any sense. Ah, shit. I'm gonna get my special attack up again. I hope this doesn't kill- well... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so my special attack goes up this time. Oh man, that kid's got two frames. I'm curious if he'll walk close enough to have frames. Uh, maybe. Alright, so Houndoom. Ah, shoot. And that guy. My Eggbert's asleep. Why are you under the ground? Shoot, that did 90 damage. I am kind of remembering that I wanted to power up my team before I did these battles. But. Uh, Bomb of Snow. So he's. 
to his ice. What? Be ah, shit. I can't. I can't leave a water dragon type to go against an ice one. So someone has to go in. Do I hope he wakes up or give him? I'm probably best off just using an item to wake him up. Does that raise special defense? Have you ever faced an Obama Snow? Huh. That's weird. Oh, T Geist. They're both ghosts, but this should be fine. Just wanna see. I should have two special attacks up. Unless switching him out and mess that up. So he's a ghost. So hex. Oh, that's not nearly as super effective as I thought it'd be. Come on, crit him. smash his defense fell special defense fell his attack rose and his speed rose sharply shit please tell me I'm faster shit Fucking sucking clavel God, you fucking asshole. <sighs> I... Oh my god, I can't believe that shit. I needed Egbert. And I've been all over the map now, so I don't get a new Pokemon anywhere. the fuck? Yeah, so, one of these bottom two. I think the other one would not be... would only be... What the fuck? Fire attack, finally. I can't believe he killed three of my Pokemon. Alright, and I take ten points of damage. Among us. Is that a flying type? Oh, one of those shrooms. Alright, so it's a grass type, maybe poison? Alright, so if it's poison, that's not a good move. Alright, so... 
that electric wasn't very effective. Really, a, another one? Oh, that did no damage. What's his last Pokemon? What the fuck is this thing? Very well, seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. I was going to say, I could have used that dragon attack again, but it would have just came right back out. It's, I'm curious if this is the other starter that I could have gotten. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. Oh, shit, I forget it. It gets to attack. Is that about an ally Dazo? When the Pokemon enters about it goes inside the mouth of an ally Dodonzo if one is on the field. The Pokemon then issues commands from there. Oh. Interesting. What do these do? Do a mirror coat. Shit, that's a physical. I'm dead anyway. Hmm. Try stealing something. If you can. St Girl, get out of the way. Overwhelmed by your defeat. You're right. I can't believe his one team. I guess it being one team should surprise me. But I can't believe Clavel's team completely wiped out mine. The fucking asshole. And all because of that stupid poltergeist. Oh, and everyone I have in storage is probably too weak to join me. Marley didn't die. He just goes down there. An Aquilamon I shouldn't have caught. Oh, that's right. I named him after. Ebenezer's level 50? Yeah, that's the one I forgot to name. Yeah, so I can't go into battle with any of these guys, because they're all too weak, for sure. Huh. So, since I'm going to have to train up or something before continuing before trying clavel again so we might as well go to the lighthouse hopefully that doesn't require a battle but maybe it will
Maybe I'll get def my party wiped twice in the same episode by different people. That would be fun, huh? I'm gonna take out my anger on all these little Pokemon. I guess I'm supposed to go inside. Weird that the entrance is a ladder. Oh. Seriously? You beat me here? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. Let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her even, ever even playing with me, her own kid. Mabostiff's the only one who was there for me, always. You look like Mabostiff here with your hair. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. I am currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the Great Crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokémon here for a very long time. Asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Seda's glorious research. The final step? But there's something we need first, something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. Can we take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come? If you feel the need, I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. So dark. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mbostiff got wounded in the first place, down in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you going to go? Of course. I suppose she did ask. I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. There's that. So I guess I'm going too. Besides, I love to give mom a piece of my mind. All right then, Yerba, outside. We have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Here's what Pokemon Arvin will have. Actually, and now that I'm thinking about it, Pokedex. The Pokemon that Clavel had. Yes, so this is the water starter's final evolution. Interesting. 
Alright, you ready for battle yet, bro? Yes. Excellent. You're ready too, right, my bastard? Woof, woof. Yep, my bastard still says he's ready. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here's bursting of energy. Never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that one student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Anyway, was, there's no need to worry. Brand new Arvin and Mabostiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. I don't like how he's vibrating. Come on, trainer Arvin. Oh, I forgot he always had a greeted. Oh, I had. Those weren't really dull battles. Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Urban Mystica are all stars. Should have used Torch Song. And start getting my special attack up. I just realized not terrestrializing gives me resistance to normal, which wouldn't have saved me there, but... Garganasil. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, fuck. Big rock. Came daytime. We battle all through night. Ah, shoot, that's a lot. Please be quicker than him. Dodge it. Good. Sounds like a grass, maybe poison type. Oh yeah, but should I wanted Torch Song? Ah, oh, put me to sleep. Oh. Ah, shit, he's still fast asleep. Should have used the item. Cloister, anyway. Lowers, yeah, stronger than special attacks.
Go villain. I don't really know what that thing is. Ismon has a few different attack types. One of them should be effective. Kind of looks like two peppers. Grass fire. I guess that makes sense. So just my boss stiff left. If he's really... I think he's just normal. So I'm thinking this ghost one will be fine. Scrooge is not the right one to be out here. No one has anything to... Oh, wait. Yeah. I forgot to have fairy. He looks a lot darker now than he did before the battles. He looked a lot nicer before this. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow-up. Time to terrorize my boss stiff. I hope he stays dark. Oh! I've never seen a dark terrorized Pokemon. I still had that light screen up just in time. Hmm, didn't quite take him out. But it can't move because it's paralyzed. He's in trouble. We we're so close to lost it, so close. But yeah, Bert, thanks, little buddy. Fuck you. Can't even beat a child at Pokemon. Dang, this is strange for someone who could take down this Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. Pokemon Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills. Somebody who can deal with crazy tech. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say Nimona and Penny. The student council girl? Yeah, she'd be a perfect job. I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. But well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think could be a help, just try getting them good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. So I'm guessing I have to complete the other two stories before I can do this one. Oh, Path of Legends complete. Alright, uh, where are we at?
I can get around him, right? Also, it should be daytime. I'll just go do a couple more classes and then finish this off. Oh, I don't want to bow you. It's not even nighttime. Sup, Yabra? Director Clavel? Oh, come on. The name's Clav, remember? I should know it's time for me. I don't care. I don't want to battle you again either. Oh my god. I don't want to battle you. Am I really having to do this right now? Please heal my Pokemon. Otherwise, I'm gonna be real pissed at you. Stronger against physical moves. Ah, oh, shoot, it's a dark attack. I was hoping he would just know, like, psychic attacks. Will you switch Pokemon? No, keep current. Is Pulse you guys the one that fucked me up last time? If I terrorize the lies, I won't be weak to ghost attacks. So he's gonna send out a Houndoom. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep doing. Ah, none of these are super effective. But if I keep doing this. Alright, so he did 66 damage. Switch, but Egbert's gonna lose all of his boosted attack. Which I could have probably done some hexes on him. Alright, now would be a good time to use a max potion on Egbert. So many. Glad that one didn't crit. starts to snow, which, ah, yeah, I lose all my attack boost. Um, 
humongous as the mushroom. So I'd be fine to stay like this. Okay. After this, it's just the water. to switch, right? I'm gonna let him take at least one hit. Because I'm at full health. So it should be fine. But we're gonna use Hex. So we'll see how he survives this one. Oh, I get to use Hex first. Do take a step back, this may get dangerous. So as long as I can hit this next attack, as long as I survive this one, I should be fine. But it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, his speed rose. Oh, shit. Man, and he gets to go first. See, now I'm in trouble because he is faster than my. everyone, basically. Yeah, so Phil Dick with his. With a, super effective is all I need. And if he would use Brick Break, I should be fine. The Aqua Step does so much damage. And it gets the Stab bonus. How strong you have grown. Well now, Master Yerba. Seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here once again I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. Do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skills. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. It turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. I wonder if it's Penny. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You then, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? By the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Eh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it's a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies bubba behind? Ahem. Remember the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. Counting on you, Master Yaribra. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no! Anything but that, I implore you. Alright. So, um... I'm gonna end this episode here, since I had to do that fight. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to come back next time. 
where we have this student to face, and then we have to go up against the Elite Four. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!